Hi, everybody. It's Craig back in the sports cabin right here on click2houston.com. Well, it's finally going to happen. The pavilion, simply known as Hoffines, will be out of business following the U of H East Carolina game Sunday. The gym for both the men and the women will start at $60 million renovation, thanks largely to the customers, like myself, of Saltgrass Steakhouse, Landry's, Willie G's, and about 350 other places owned by Tillman Fertitta. He should be allowed to play the final game, but I'm told his eligibility has expired. Not, though, his credit, and that is a really good thing for the university. The building opened December 1st, 1969, and like Sunday's game, the Cougs played against a directional team, Southwest Louisiana. Houston won that first game in the Pavilion, 89-72. They were 16-0 at home that season and 13-0 the next. The first loss didn't come until, until December of 1971, two years to the day the building was open, and Arizona State got them by one, 98-97. After 30 games, they were 29-1 and at home. The pavilion was definitely an advantage. Not so over the years, though. Of course, over 700 games have been played in the current building, but it's way overdue for this major reconstruction. From 82 to 85, the Cougs won 43 straight. That's still a home court record. That, of course, in the house that Guy V helped build. Phi Slamma Jamma team of 83 still holds the single season attendance record, averaging 9,697 a game. And I'm proud to report I saw every one of those wins. Well, my job was to be there, and I was, hosting Guy V's TV show as well as reporting for Channel 2 Sports. Sunday, the university has a big send-off planned. Among other things, it's senior day, of course. And uh, following the game, which the Cougs should win, a great alum, and they're trying to keep it a secret, but it's either got to be Drexler or Elijah one, right? Or maybe Elvin Hayes. He'll make the last basket following the game, then give the ball to Mr. Fertitta, who will walk that ball out the door. I'm guessing he's going to keep it as a $60 million souvenir. No one's going to object. This is Craig Roberts on click2houston.com.